Normally, it's just tension, um, anger. Sally Rivera can't take it anymore. Today marks two months since hundreds of renters at Buenas on 32nd had proper air conditioning. We just want air. After our reporting on this in July, Attorney General Chris Mays stepped in and demanded the apartment complex fix the broken chiller. The owners eventually installed a rental unit, but that didn't cut it. And management previously told me they may not have a permanent solution until December. 87.6. This is a life or death issue. Mays is now suing Buenos communities for allegedly breaking multiple laws. When we went out and did the investigation after your story ran, um, it was clear that this goes far beyond um, air conditioning. I mean, he's, uh, this is a slumlord. The AG investigation uncovered a slew of other problems and more than 100 code violations from the city of Phoenix since 2016. May says there's evidence residents who complained have faced threats and retaliation. It's totally, totally unacceptable. Bed bugs were, were present. Um, there were uh, boarded up windows. Uh, the plumbing was inadequate. They don't care. One day, come and live in one of your own units for one day, and you'll see what happens here all the time. Sally has lived here for five years and says the AC goes out every summer. In the last eight years, the city has given out 18 violations related to inadequate cooling at this complex. And the current situation led to 39 citations in a court case separate from the AG's legal action. That's what struck me, I think, the most about your reporting was to hear people say this happens every summer. I mean, that's terrible. The AG's lawsuit seeks to bar this landlord from renting to anyone in Arizona ever again. It's kind of the business death penalty. I mean, you know, basically we're saying, you know, these guys, if, if you don't fix it here, then you don't deserve to, to do business in, in, in the state of Arizona. This week, a judge sided with Mays and handed out this temporary restraining order, requiring the owners to get the AC back up and running by this Friday. If that doesn't happen, the judge says they must provide alternative accommodations for everyone who lives there. Do you have any hope that they will fix it by this deadline of Friday? I pray to God on it.